Welcome back into Only Media. Today, let's dive into how to set up a MailChimp automation sequence in the 2024. This is an actual powerful tool to get started and of course for beginners looking for streamlined their email marketing. So the automation allows you to engage with your audience effectively without the need to send each email manually. So let's get started. First of all, what you want to do is to focus into the signing up for the MailChimp. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so you can access the actual home of the MailChimp in a very easy way. So this is just in case you haven't already created an actual MailChimp account and visit all of that. So you needed to prompt, of course, basic information about your business and the verification of the email address. This, of course, in less than a minute. So now what you want to do is to create an audience list. Before setting up any automations, you need an audience to send emails to. So inside the home section of MailChimp, what you wanted to do is to navigate directly to the left part that says audience. Now that I click here into audience, what you can do is to click into the create audience or focus into the says uh, add your contact. It's going to be helping us, of course, to adding all the information about our content. So enter the necessary details about um, the name, default email address. Remember, you ensure they have permissions to send emails to the people you have added directly into your list. Whether you can just import from another device, upload a file, or just directly copy and paste from a similar list. And it might be looking for example like this. So for example, let's say that I choose, I don't know, maybe eight big stars like this, and I go for a coma, and I go for Tom, Peter, and that would be actually it, right? So I'm gonna hit now into continue to organize, and it automatically is gonna be telling you um, what are the actual custom fields. In this case, this is the actual audience. You can select the status of the contact if they are subscribed, unsubscribed, non-subscribed, or cleaned. So I'm going to hit now into continue to tag. And as you can see, searched for created tags. Let's say I go for the customer, I go for the staff, and that will be actually it. I can continue now. And you can see that this one says not recognized. I'm going to change this for the first name and the email address. So I finalize imported and I complete my import of all the stuff that I needed to add it there. Now that I have the audience list, it's time to set up your automation sequence. So first of all, what I want to do is to go directly into automations. I'm going to go back directly here into home section and here you can choose automation. Now here to create automations, you can get started, of course, by offering several pre-made automation types like the welcome emails. There are abandoned called reminders. There are engaging, uh, reinterating men and campaigns. So choose one that fits for your needs or select custom to create a sequence totally from scratch. What I can show is just you is to choose an actual element that let's say are much more faster to let's say rebranding. So for example, let's say welcome contact who have described it via your pop-up form. So I choose this element and by default, it's going to be showing us what are the actual journey of the actual audience. So in this case, I choose the audience we have just created. And here you can see that we have now the elements of the prompted uh, journey builder. So this is the part what you want to design your actual email. So once you have chosen the type of the automation, you want to start designing your email. So use a drag and drop uh, builder to get started by creating an actual email. So here I'm going to just click here. And here as you can see, here's my email. So I'm going to choose a template, for example. And since this is an actual welcome template, I just go directly and look out for it. Um, let's say I'm going to scroll all my way down. And you can see the simple text. We have the one, two column, three, two column. And that will be actually, I'm going to go for the minimal. And I'm going to hit now into apply. So as you can see, what I can do is to get started by editing all this stuff into my actual email. And I saved and returned this into the journey. So my email should be created in no time. Now what I wanted to do, of course, is to set the triggers and into the timing. So set triggers for each email as you're sequenced. So triggers might include signing up for a list, making a purchase, or any other specific action. In this case, when the contact signs up into our actual popped up element for our store, this one should be automatically send an actual email. So here should be, let's say for example, like a three day delay. In this case, I'm gonna change it from delay of one day. And you can change, of course, the journey and the rules. For example, if or else uh, the potential splits or wait for the trigger or time delay. And here are the actions you can just get started with. So once satisfied, you want to make sure that you can activate your automation sequence and the MailChimp will handle the rest. So sending out 
and email accordingly to your actual setup. In this case, I'm going to open my Gmail account where I actually sent the actual test of the email. So I'm going to look out for this and you can see here it is. And there we go. Here's my actual template already been created. And here it appears the actual template. So I use this trigger to send it directly into all the context that I just sent them directly. And lastly, you can monitor the performance of your automation sequence through the MailChimp reporting tools into the lab pod and go for the analytics, guys. And that is how you can actually get started setting up an actual MailChimp automation sequence. As you can see, it's not that hard. So this tool is an excellent way to begin effectively managing email marketing and maintain engagement with the audience. The actual key is to look out for a template that were created already from peer build journeys and look out for the one that you're looking for. And what you need to do is just to add or edit the elements that you do or you don't want to see. So really simple and easy guys. So thank you so much for watching this complete guide for the MailChimp automation sequence. If you find this helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe and share this with others. Stay tuned for the only media for more marketing tips and tutorials. Until next time.